Hello there, this is my craft room. I wanted to give you a little tour. I just finished reorganizing it. It's still not perfect, but I'm happy with what I've got done so far. So, when you first walk in the room, I've got my little sign on the door. It says, don't bother me. <laughs> I made that sign. I got an old t-shirt that didn't fit. It's too small for my big body. So, I just cut off the front and I cut a section off the back which is the same I don't know if you can see that back there that's the back and I sewed them together and I think I put some fiber fill in there yeah I put some fiber fill in the middle like a quilting thing yeah I did because there's a little tiny bit of quilting here I did not real quilting just stitching around the head of the little sheep Anyway, and I put some little sequins on the stars to make them sparkle a little bit. And I put some lace around the edge. So that's my little door decoration. And when you come to the left, I've got some art up here that was on clearance at a craft store. So I grabbed it. It's got embroidery on it in there. So this was probably an embroidery kit that um, was made and I did that I colored it with my little colored coloring pencils <laughs> uh, I didn't draw it of course it's a this came from the celestial seasonings website and I just printed it out and colored it and this is my little bookcase that holds I've got a bunch of old knitting books down there and some new ones too and then here is a almost about half full so I've got room for some more books and magazines and the whole top shelf is filled with knitting magazines I've got uh, knitters magazine interweave knits knitting style uh, creative knitting knit it uh, knit simple vogue knitting and um, the old Family Circle Easy Knitting, which um, was actually made by Vogue Knitting as well. And some British knitting magazines at the end. I really like them. The Knitter and Simply Knitting. And what else have I got? Let's Knit. Is that what that's called? Yeah, Let's Knit. Anyway, so there's my knitting magazines on the top. Then up here is a little cabinet that I found at a um, thrift store that's perfect for holding all my little notions for knitting. I've got a, a yarn meter that measures how long, how many yards of yarn you have, and a tape measure. Um, needles. I can't remember what's in there. More little gadgets. Um, stitch markers. This is just different things. A little pom pom maker and some snaps. And my needle gauge and uh, some points for a boy needle master and a little uh, row counter. Uh, bobbins, yarn bobbins for color work cable needles, a little teeny tiny cable needle for socks, looks like a toothpick. <laughs> My friends teased me about that when I bought that, but I like it. Um, stitch holders, yeah, Some keys to my old car. Uh, point protectors, which I never use. So if you want some point protectors, let me know. <laughs> I want to get rid of them. Uh, stitch markers, which I never use either, but I really like these little sheep. I only use those um, ring stitch markers. They're just easier for me than these fancy things. Those fancy things are just pointless for me. And I have extra batteries for my um, lighted crochet hooks. And this is um, elastic thread for socks when you want the cuff to be um, stretchy and grab hold. And those are for um, 
when you're seaming, you hook together your, your stuff. Anyway, and then up on top here, I've got some little knitting decorations. I've got a, I can't remember who this is made by, what is that? Bunnykins? Royal Dalton. Anyway, it's got um, some knitting, some, some rabbits that are knitting. So I thought that was cute. And this is a, a Charming Tales rabbit that's making a baby booty. And I got some sheep. And this little, uh, this was out of a sticker pack. That's what it was. A little yarn knitting basket. And one of my piano students made that rabbit. So I like that. It's cute. Uh, more stitch holders. Um, some crochet hooks. A great big tape measure because I'm always changing things in the room and it's easy to grab that and measure and see if it'll fit. Pencils and pens. Stuff hanging there. I don't know what that is. <sighs> some wind chimes here. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Um, up here is the clock that I got for... Um, I think I got it on eBay. I liked it because it has knitting and sewing stuff. Yarn. And I hang all my bead necklaces on that um, hook thing there. And my dad gave me that cat purse and this other little purse. This basket here has um, little odds and ends. This is a project I'm working on. I think it's some socks. Yeah, that's what it is. And this is some socks I'm working on. And I've got a bunch of yarn in there and my swift, my yarn swift. I use that to, um, like if you have a big hank of yarn that hasn't been wound into a ball yet, you can put it on that swift and it'll swing around. It, it spins. It's hard to tell that there. It spins. And my little old boom box. I listen to books and I'll tape. And I like this because it does CDs or tape. So I can listen to all those old books on tape at the library or if I find them at a thrift store. It's perfect to just sit here and knit and listen to that. Over there, some projects that I started that I haven't touched in ages, but <laughs> one of these days I'll get to them. So when I get in the mood, if I say, okay, I want to work on something, then I'll come in here and let's turn some light on. I'll come in here and look in that basket and grab something and work on it. Um, down there is some knitting needles. It's a basket full of knitting needles. There's my little yarn winder. There's my spinning wheel. I did learn how to spin, but I haven't spun in ages. Need to get going again. My little oscillating fan. I've had that thing, gosh, 30 years. <laughs> Still works great. I cleaned it the other day, so now it's nice and sparkly. And back behind there is some more knitting needles. Those are my straight needles. These are the really long ones and these are the short ones. Sometimes I do use my straight needles, not very often, but occasionally I do. And um, over there is a weaving loom, that Spears weaving loom. I just played around with it one day. I think I put the, yeah I did put a photo tutorial on Flickr about that, but I never used it since. I only did like about six inches of weaving and I said, okay, I'm done. So I had a short attention span with that. There's some very old knitting books down there. Stitch by Stitch. Uh, Lee Ward's Complete Library of Needlecraft. Better Homes and Gardens. Better Knitting and Crochet. Some really old stuff. I like them. Sometimes I have some good patterns. Up here, um, these binders are what I used back when I first started knitting. I would print out the patterns on the internet. This is before... Um, they made tablets and PDFs, then you would have to print out the pattern. So I put them in these binders and they go all the way across there. And way down there at the end, which you can't see, yeah, you can kind of see, it looks like a photo album that has a sample yarns from Bernat, because I work for Bernat. And here's Christmas books and my Universal Yarn Finder. I really like that because I can look up old yarns in there and figure out more details about them, like what gauge they knit to, and all that. Um, here's, I, my, I just started crocheting about four years ago, so 
this is the only specific crochet books that I have. Um, several of my other older books have a mix of knitting and crochet. And there's my crochet hooks. All in a little jelly jar. Um, my video for using the bond <laughs> knitting machine. I have a bond knitting machine. I just have only used it once, I think. Uh, there's my video that came with my sewing machine. And a whole bunch of those Vogue knitting on the go books. I really like these books. There's some great patterns in them. And some more knitting books. And these are all baby knitting patterns and um, toys and kids. All those are there. Up here are my smaller size pamphlets, books, and stuff. And knitting calendars that I, my sister got me for a while. She would get me one every year. And here's all my interchangeable sets. I have two sets of Denise needles and some boy interchangeables. And this is an empty package that somebody gave me. Um, this is a inter, interchangeable crochet hook. And this is just a little vintage crochet hook case filled with um, crochet hooks and stuff a friend of mine gave me. And up here is a little plastic jar um, with a, a, a good seal. And what I do is when I come across little bits of yarn that I don't know what to do, I'll throw them in there. And one day I'll use them, I don't know. And that's just a stack of papers whenever I come across stuff that's too big to fit in my bookcase. Or it's just a paper I want to look at, I'll throw it up there. And here, this is a great big graph paper huge size I went to an office supply store to get this it's 11 by 17 um, I can't remember how many squares are on each page anyway it's quadrille hopefully you can see that it's that graph paper and it's perfect for um, when I'm working on Fair Isle or duplicate stitch embroidery I can put my pattern on that great big graph paper and it's just easier to read. And it's also good for designing a, a pattern. Anyway, this is my hope chest. And I'm not going to open that. It's filled with, it's a cedar chest, I'm sorry. It's cedar. I got that at a thrift store. It's from the 50s, I think. And I've got it full of nice wool yarn. This other chest was made by my high school boyfriend. And it's underneath my spinning wheel because it's full of spinning fiber. Wool and angora and all that. Um, this over here. This is Embroider with Love. I got that at a thrift store. I thought she was cute. Because she's got knitting needles in her hand. <laughs> Isn't she cute? And up there's a project. A little baby blanket I'm working on. And here's a big plastic um, case of course filled with yarn um, keep on coming back over here there's a basket of stuff I'm working on right now I'm making these uh, little tiny baby booty with the Burnett pipsqueak yarn and the Burnett softy baby so you can find another video about that soon I've been making videos and here's some Burnett tizzy I'm wanting to make something with that and some satin because there's two or three babies right now I want to knit something for. These two boxes down here have yarn in them, of course. This is nice cotton and that one down there is mill ends that I grabbed, big bags of mill end yarn. Um, those are more yarn all the way down. I've got one, two, three, four, five high. Uh, the bottom one has novelty yarn. This one here has, um, ooh, that's just a mix of different yarns. I can't remember exactly what's in there. Um, that's baby yarn. This one's baby and, oh, that's pompadour, baby pompadour yarn. And that one up there is sport yarn. Over here, this whole stack, it's also five high. You can't see it because all the way down to the floor down there in the corner. That's all wool yarn. Uh, I don't use wool very often because I live in a very warm climate. So I do have the wool yarn when I want to make something for a friend who's in a cool climate or if I want to make something for charity that calls for 100% wool. This basket is more projects I've started but I haven't finished. <laughs> I 
uh, starditis, I guess you call it. Um, just some junk here. In fact, this is uh, some lamps I'm wanting to hang up in here. Some paper lantern lamps and a, a, a lamp with some yarn hanging down on it. I thought this would look pretty in here. I just haven't hung them up yet. And this little plastic thing here is filled with cotton yarn for making dishcloths. And then I'll back up so you can see my rocking chair. That's where I like to sit and um, work on my knitting projects that take a lot of thought. The reason why I like this is because I have a music stand here. I'm going to turn this light off now. I have this music stand here um, to hold my knitting pattern and I can put um, magnets and move them down to where I want to to use them to mark the pattern. Uh, got a little cable needle here and pencil. I just like my music stand for holding uh, knitting crochet patterns that have details that I need to read. It's just easier that way. And this is my Ot Light. I got it on clearance at um, a craft store. And this one has uh, magnifying glass. And I covered it with a little knitted hat that I made. <laughs> Works real good. And a little hook that will hold your um, pattern. But I don't need it because I use my music stand. Um, now back over here to this wall. I already told you about that stack. Now this here is a big blanket that I'm making for my son. He said he wanted a blue blanket. So I've got a whole basket full of yarn here and working on that. That's an easy project because it's just knit knit purl, knit knit purl, knit knit purl. You just cast on a multiple of three stitches and you just knit knit purl, knit knit purl, knit knit purl on every row. <laughs> so easy. So I like to grab that. I can just grab the whole basket and take it. Like if I'm going to a knit med meeting or knit together or if I want to watch a movie down the hall, I can do it that way and uh, grab that and work on it. Back here is I like these hat boxes, these pretty round hat boxes, and uh, somebody gave me these two, and I think those are for like for, for fancy and lingerie or something, but I never got the lingerie, all I got is the back, the boxes because somebody gave them to me, and uh, I have nicer yarns in there like um, mohair or mohair blends, um, and some yarns that I want to use that I have a project in mind for. I, I'll throw them in these boxes. I'm going to move this basket here. Right there is my Bernat mystery blanket that I started on but never have finished. I need to get going on that. And this is some baby yarn I just bought the other day. And there's another little cedar chest here. It's a little tiny one. It's a toy chest originally, I believe. And it's got um, real nice yarns in there, too. So I try to protect my fancy yarns in cedar. And in the other places where I have yarn that is um, attractive to bugs, I'll put um, bars of Irish spring soap. <laughs> That's a secret I learned on a website. And it works because I don't ever have bugs in here. Um, here's my little stepladder. And you'll see why I need that in a minute. Here's a mosaic... Burnett Mosaic Carolinian Shawl, free pattern on the Burnett website. I'm working on that. And underneath that is my temperature project. I'm working on that. Oh, and here's another light. This desk light, um, it uh, turns on real easy. And I use that a lot for when I'm making knitting videos and crochet videos. I have my little chickadee stuck on here. So cute. I got that in the mountains of North Carolina. It's ceramic and it has a little hook down here. I can't get it undone, but that's it hooks on so it looks like he's roosting. This basket has more projects I'm working on. Um, I'm using this cotton to make a um, what is it called? Bandages for leprosy. That's what it is. Uh, want to make it. I just have just gotten started. I got this DK yarn set aside because I want to make some yoga socks. And these are squares that I'm making with the Vicki Howell sheepish yarn. 
I want to make a scarf out of that. And that's that Burnett um, bamboo yarn. I'm making a, a, a crochet vest. There's my hot chocolate. Man, I want a sip of that. Oh, that's good. I got some water. And these are my little tiny stands, my little tripods to use with my video camera when I make videos. It works so much better than a tall tripod. And this is a big desk. That's where I'll do my videos now. Down underneath the desk, I have more projects that I'm working on. I've got a big, um, what's that thing called? Uh, oh, yeah, that is a um, tabled cardigan made with Burnett Soft, Softy Chunky. And that old orange, let me turn this light on over here so you can see it. <laughs> There, that orange and green thing right there, that's a vintage yarn basket uh, made from an ice cream container. <laughs> I've got it filled with old baby yarn. And there's a knitting bag that I grab if I go to teach a knitting class, because it's got basic stuff in it. And down underneath there is a bunch of things that people have asked me to work on for them. I just haven't had time to do it. One day I will. And then I have just a basic desk chair here. And over here is all the chaos, all the yarn just piled up. There's a project I'm working on down there, another project here. Here's my yarn I'm using for my temperature scarf, I mean blanket. It was going to be a scarf, but now it's a blanket. Um, the baskets, I love baskets, so I just buy baskets whenever I come across them. Um, this whole stack here is acrylic yarn. People mail me squares, like... Let me see if I can get one out. There. You see those squares back there? People mail me squares and I uh, seam them together and give them to the children's shelter. Uh, that's just basic craft stuff back right there. That's why it's hidden in the corner because I don't ever get to my basic craft stuff anymore. This is a Christmas stocking I'm working on for a customer. This is all brand new yarn from uh, Bernat and I'm getting to know those. Um, this is all Big Lots yarn. This whole plastic thing is full of good Big Lots yarn that I come across. It's 100% wool or wool blend and I can tell by the way it smells. So I'll grab it. And um, this one here, ah, that's chunky yarn. And the great big silver one, it's really big. It's a bigger size. It's full of super bulky yarn. And up here is the big wall of stuff. And my big blue chair in front of it. That's where I sit to. If my back is bothering me, I'll sit here because it really supports my back well. Um, this is just some yarn that somebody gave me the other day. So I need to get, add that somewhere in the room. And there's my big chair. I'm going to move my big chair out of the way. I like my floor in here because it's easy to slide things around. It's just um, stick-on tiles of, uh, from Home Depot. Uh, this looks like parquet, but this is not the size of the square. The square is actually 12 inches, big old squares. And I put this in here myself, and so glad I did. It's nice and sturdy and slippery, perfect for sliding things around in the room. Um, these are my shelves up on the wall. Um, I've got fabric up there because I never ever get to my sewing. I'm too busy knitting right now. Up there is dishcloth cotton and crochet thread. And there's some new yarns by Bernad and some other yarns that I ordered that I haven't used but I'm wanting to use so I have them out so I can see them. And over there's sewing patterns. I've got over 200 sewing patterns. I've got those stored on a database so I know what I have. Um, this is some vintage nylon yarn for making socks. I love that box. And circular knitting needles are all in that box. I need to cover that with the pretty paper like that. So I've got my paper here ready to put on there. This box is filled with labels from all the yarns that I've used. So that gives you some idea. It's filled. It's like, oh gosh, 14 inches deep and about 6 inches tall. 
and it's filled with labels of all the yarn that I've used. I keep the labels because sometimes they have patterns on them and sometimes you can't find those patterns later, so I have it. There's some more yarn. This is some Peyton's and some Bernat yarns because they're owned by the same company. I work for Spin Right. And this up here is some vintage yarn that I found at a thrift store, real cheap. And I love the way it feels, so I want to use it. And one of my friends made that for me. So cute. And this has um, little jaw clamp things that I use for when I'm seaming together. It's little hair clamps for girls, but they work perfect for holding knitted stuff together. And I like the way the little box looks, too. Little paper for writing. Uh, cord for making purses. And these um, plastic things, these are, they used to be made by Yaffa, I think. Anyway, I've got one, two, three, four of those. And they're all four drawers high. And each drawer is filled with yarn. So you'd say I'm a yarn addict. <laughs> sock yarn, sock yarn, and I had sock patterns with it, so it's easy. Uh, wool acrylic blends and dishcloth cotton. I've got tons of dishcloth cotton. Unger fluffy, a whole drawer full of unger fluffy. Um, this uh, plush yarns, kind of oh, not chenille, but kind of fluffy. Uh, these are nicer baby yarns and some other yarns and that's just a mix of different yarns I just throw in there those are acrylics and mixes there's some chunky and all kinds of stuff baby yarn back there I do know where everything is most of the time sometimes I can't find it but most of the time I can find stuff in my room so anyway now we're at the end we're back with the, the sheep sign <laughs> That is all. Back behind my door I have a ironing board and a bunch of purses. And my knitting machine. Which one of these days I'll have time to sit and play with it. I'm too busy actually knitting with needles. So that's my craft room for all of you who have been wanting to see. Oh and this little bucket here. I keep this bucket under my chair. Um, sometimes when I'm working on a project somebody gives me a ball of yarn that they wound by hand and um, it rolls around all over the place so I just throw it in the basket and it keeps it from rolling around I like that anyway that's my craft room I hope you enjoyed the tour I hope I didn't run my mouth too much see you later on bye